Thank you, Morgan and Chrissy. I am very excited today because we have, I would think, the most local hero for our wildlife, a wildlife expert, and he really is all things wildlife. Can I say wildlife any more times? Del Cullum, <laughs> you're, you're, you're the man, you're the person. If there's somebody's got well, a possum in their attic, <laughs> or but it's not just that. It's you really do an amazing service to the community, and I know that you have this new not-for-profit. Tell, tell people who may not know who you are and what you do about yourself. And what sure, you're doing. sure. Well, well. First of all, thanks for having me on here. You know, I I love LTV and I support them a hundred percent, and they've always supported me, and that's. That's a really good relationship, and that's why I like to produce my educational shows for you guys. And that's what I do. My name is Del Cullum, and I do all things wildlife out here, um, from education to removal to rehabilitation to rescue. Uh, but I most recently started uh, a new not-for-profit 501c3 organization based around wildlife rescue, specifically. Um, because there was a need for it as our, our as yeah. our the the end of our island which is, is is so narrow in a sense as we continue to populate uh it be, becomes more or less and less habitat for our wonderful and beautiful and very much abundant wildlife and that creates issues with humans uh impact right. with with each other sure so, so that's why I'm we curious. step in and Right. Now, I'm curious how it works I'm now, sorry. obviously, in a time of isolation, and yet the natural habitat is poking its head out now as the warmer weather is coming. And um, are you still doing calls now? Are you able to still do that? A absolutely, more than ever, but, but really mostly removals at this point and less yeah. rescue, which is a good thing. Okay, of yeah. course, the less rescues that I'm doing is always means that uh, the community is being careful and, and respecting and, and appreciating what we have. So that's always a good thing. Um, the removals, on the other hand, it's interesting because of the, the situation that we're in and the fact that uh, a lot of our summer uh, visitors and summer homeowners came out early, they're detecting things that they normally wouldn't detect <laughs> until Memorial <laughs> Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, more, more realistically, a hole in their roof, um, yeah. uh, right. which is the doorway to uh, uh, raccoons and, and squirrels at this point. So yeah. it is the birthing season and people are noticing it early. Is it good? Is that good for them? Well, yeah, kind of. You're getting the problem taken care of rather than three, two, two or three months down the road. However, yeah. it's a problem nonetheless. So, um, you know, part of, part of our organization is really educating the community on not only how to be careful and more aware of the wildlife, but also how to be more preventative and learn to preventative to keep them from impacting our actual structures, our homes, and learn to live with wildlife rather than find ways to not live with them. Well, I, I, I find you fascinating because I've watched your imagination nature programs again and again. First of all, the way you'd speak to the animals, you're like, it's like, come here, little guy, come here, little boy. You know, and then sometimes you call like, you call a possum a knucklehead. It's just, it's so endearing. And it's, but you seem so calm. You seem calm. And I have to ask you, have you ever been hurt or, or endangered? Because you do, you do come in contact with some situations, which I would think, you know, you know, that it might be scary for anyone. Yeah, well, well, there have been times, safely? and well, that's the number one thing that we we teach. No matter who teaches rescue, um, it, that's that's really the priority is safety first. Because if you hurt yourself, then you can no longer be helpful to that animal. Right. Um, but look, th animals are are strong uh, creatures, and the the one thing they that we have going against us is. Their, we can't predict uh, their actions and they're quick and they're uh, responsive um, to things that we don't know. So, you know, when we grab them the wrong way or get in the wrong, just like, you know, the old thing, don't get behind a horse and smack right. it on the butt. Um, right. You know, it's, com it's common yep. sense. But, but every now and then something happens. A, a good example is last year I 
uh, went and uh, rescued a, a, a great blue heron. Now I've done this many times before, but in this instance, and I had safety protection on my eyes because that's one yeah. of the more key things you think about when you're rescuing a bird that has a long, sharp beak. Um, and in fact, the bird turned and struck me in the face and it hit me in the glasses and slid off and cut me on the side of the head. And from there, you as many times as I've done it, it took that time when when I, when I got a little nip, and it made me think. Well, how can I make that not happen again? So now I have glasses that have the wide band. So if it does slide off the glass for any reason, in fact, I like to use the big goggles. That yeah. protects a more larger portion of the head. I it's not as fashionable, can, but that's what we're not out there for. But, I think if you can uh, mass produce those. <laughs> Yeah, you should mass produce yeah. those right now. You could actually, yeah, <laughs> you absolutely. could retire early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah whole face ask, things. Yeah. <laughs> what what uh, what are the most common calls that you get, and how do people reach you? I'm asking you two questions at once. I realize, but I have so much I want to ask you. What's the most common? Would you say well, is there a most common call you get? Well, there is, and unfortunately, it's most of the time it has to do with deer. Uh, yeah. and deer and automobile um, collisions, uh, which, you know, we could talk about all day long. So uh, that's subject matter that, that yeah. there's just so many different variables to. Um, but it is one of our biggest calls because there's so many things we've done to impact these animals, whether it be fencing or right. lack of corridors or keeping them on the roadsides and you know, yeah, because people these think, things. oh, I think the deer population is so great, but we've really ruined it for them. So they're forced to run into the road half the time, don't well, you think? Well, 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 again, quickly, my theory is that the populations aren't any much different than they ever were because they control the, their population habits. When, when there's less habitat, the, as, as, a, as a species, they tend to have uh, less young. Um, they, yeah. they regulate themselves that biologically, but, but when they are at, at, when we constrict the habitat so quickly, and so abruptly, these animals are pushed into small pockets, which makes it easier mm -hmm. to uh, be in larger quantities. So, you know, when you see one or two deer running around, it doesn't look so bad. But when you see 10 of them together, you say, oh, my God, those three populated so fast. No, you took 10 houses away of their habitat, and now they're forced into living together. And that yeah. creates all the other problems as well about them, you know, what they eat and tick issues and all that other stuff but right. really the 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 impact affects them they get injured they get caught in fences they get entangled if somebody doesn't find them they literally die and decompose wrapped mm. in fences they get so what caught happens? going through gates does somebody I'm so sorry. let's say someone either finds a deer on their property in distress or someone reports a deer do they use the app that you created or or how do people how do people let you know and then and then what happens no, no. The, the app is actually for us the app you could think of as like a fireman's pager um, okay. the, the, all the rescue responders that are signed on as volunteers um, okay. uh, use that use that app as a pager I, and when I dispatch I a, a report, you and, would and call how many people us. Do you have? Yeah, right. Well, it depends. It depends what the situation. If you report a deer that needs, you know, is down and needs to be brought to a, a doctor, we're going to need more than one person to lift that deer. So I'll dispatch okay. two or three people. Um, if, you know, for a variety of circumstances. But what the public does is they call the 1 844 number, which is 844 Save Wild, S A V W I L D, which Turns up being seven two eight nine four five three. So that's eight four four seven two eight nine four five three, and uh, I will field that call no matter where I am. I I will field the call. I will get all the information necessary, and if I feel we need to dispatch a volunteer twenty four seven three sixty five days a year, we will dispatch somebody to go uh, either observe or rescue and transport if necessary, that injured or distressed animal. Um, yeah. uh, That's great. And we have, we have a whole handful of 
unbelievable volunteers, which incidentally cross volunteer with our other outstanding organization that we're fortunate to have here on the East End, and that's Evelyn Alexander Wildlife yes. and Rescue and Rehab Center. Yeah. Yeah, they're amazing. So, I know. It, the wildlife, the wildlife out here really, really, despite all all the human impact, all the adversity against them, they sure have their backs being watched by some pretty amazing people and some great organizations. Yes. And can you tell us about how yeah. baby squirrels are doing lately? Or, or you've got, you always have, it's either a possum or baby squirrels that you feed. Do you have them? I, I oh, actually I did I not know this. Do. I just guessed and, it. And I, and I know, and I was going to, um, I was going to uh, have um, Athena, my owl, already oh, for her. you, but she's molting, she's molting in the head again, Athena, which Athena, makes her I, I look Athena. not not so pretty. It's the screech owl. Anyway, I remember speaking to you at the look, village look uh, at summer the, festival. Let look, me see. Oh, look, at this look who look with at the this name? Do you have a name for this little guy? No, no, not yet, not yet. Not scurry is, too. It's still, <laughs> it's still too young, but uh, uh, he's, he's coming along really good. I mean, uh, these guys are happened? the greatest. Uh, how old is that little yep. guy? These are three weeks. Their eyes opened yesterday. Wow. So, so they're uh, they're doing and really they good. And we're taking. How good is it care that they? They trust you. Is it you born with this neck? How did you even well, get to Robert? I'm curious. Well, I'm serious. Well, at, the, at this age, they have no choice. They were pulled know. out of a wall, and, <laughs> and, and Mama was was not able to be found. So um, they trust us because we're right now we're their mommy. I say we yeah. because my wife D is an incredible help. I mean, she she's really the 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 key to the rehabilitation part of of what I do. Um, yeah. but, uh, they're, they're just, you know, the older ones, they get to trust you because it's just animal instinct. They know who's good and they know who's bad and, uh, they know who's super good and who's out yeah. there to help them. And, and that's, that's, how, that's good. why I, that we know. that's what I contribute this to. Well, I have a good relationship with these animals. I happen to care a lot about them. I really do. Yeah. And I know you and you care about a lot of things. Can we touch briefly on because I know that the way people have been disposing of garbage in in the Hamptons and the East End is is despicable. And now with these gloves that everybody's wearing, there's that issue and the beaches and I know you've had to postpone not only the benefit that you were doing for your new uh a wildlife organization, the not for profit, right. the comedy benefit you're doing. But but now the Earth yeah. Day shoreline. Tell us tell us what's the state of it out there? Yeah. In yeah. terms of well, you're right. Garbage. I don't understand right. what's the matter with people, but well, I haven't figured it out either. Of all of 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 all the years I've been doing this, and this would have been the seventh year for the shoreline sweep, and I'm I'm really a yeah. little bummed out about it. But you know, this is something we can always do, and when, when this is over. Yeah. However, you know the the beaches. I'll tell you, the beaches are doing a little better, in my opinion, and. Uh, Rumor has it they're going to take these ridiculous, ugly garbage receptacles off the beaches in the village um, this year, this summer, which is fantastic news. Um, really? But these these gloves, these these the way people are disposing of these latex gloves, which it's you know, ironically, we're wearing we're wearing these gloves to protect <laughs> ourselves, yet we're destroying our planet. It, it's it's just it's it doesn't make any sense, but it never no. did make any sense. And quite frankly, I think if there was an answer, I would have probably figured out at least part of it by now. And I haven't even, yeah. I haven't even scratched the surface. So I kind of yeah. laid back on it. It was kind of driving me crazy. My head was hurting from banging it against the wall, as you can imagine. But, um, here we are now. And, and fortunately I, I'm, I'm, I'm not as, I don't let it upset me as much as I did then because just seeing these gloves on the ground, it just makes I me know. feel like, uh-oh, 
Here it comes again. Here we go. Uh, you know, it's, it's like a it's like a it bad balloon no case almost. The same thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, but yeah. you know, we yeah. hope we hoping that we were, people were searching, you know, in this time of you know quarantine and why is this happening and all this, you know, and there are, sometimes there are actually decent quotes that say, you know, we're just you know we're we're just guests here on this planet. But I don't know if people how long they hold on to that for. You know, is it how do we have to be quarantined for a year? You know, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think we I will don't, be. I, I, don't I don't know. Don't, I don't know, but but I'll tell you, I, I, here's a suggestion. Let's take some of this time that we have to sit home and reflect and kind of <laughs> kind of yeah. try to reflect on some of the more wiser choices that we actually can make environmentally exactly. and for our wildlife and ultimately for ourselves. Because you know, yeah. you know, um, nature is life, and w- without nature, there is no life. And we we depend on it. We need it. So we need to respect it and we need to care for it a little bit better. Yes. And your new show, I just want to talk about it quickly because uh, it's so well shot, uh, produced. <laughs> you're, it's called Wildlife Rescue. No, it's really well done. I love the music in it. I love what you have to say. I, I love, love the it. animal stuff. I, I, I mean, obviously, the animal stuff, all of it. But it's, it's, you have two episodes done. It's going to be airing on LTV again. Or because I know you. Yes. I, it, I think so. The, the plan was. Yeah, the plan was uh, I, I made five episodes of this okay. series called Wildlife Rescue. Um, it's, it's all it was going to be, five episodes. And I was hoping wow. uh, prior to prior to this issue, this uh, uh, coronavirus issue, was to uh, spread the series throughout the spring and summer for, for everyone as not only educational, but to promote the the uh, nonprofit and all all the wildlife nonprofits here on the East End, and show what we do and kind of highlight some of these volunteers that are just awesome. Yeah. And in 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 the interim, I've I realized that you know maybe now would be a good opportunity to share this with people who are home and wondering what to do and things. So I kind of jumped the gun on it. I don't feel bad about it. I have other ideas up my sleeve for other films and specials planned for you guys at LTV. I, oh, I you just, do great work. Uh, I, 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 I always like to keep my plate full when it comes to. Uh, material for you guys. Well, we appreciate it. And we love you, Dell. And the community needs you, obviously. And I'm so glad that you were here. Yes. And I hope that people do uh, reach out. I mean, obviously, everybody is in need these days. But what you do is, is, is so part of what keeps our, our planet and, and our place in the East End that amazing i think and, and like you say wildlife matters like you know and and that is what you're doing yes, so if people can indeed. people can indeed. contribute to that cause yeah so the wildlife um rescue of east hampton um and that will that Wild- will have a benefit at some point what say it again the wildlife yeah, well you right? had it right I- wildlife rescue of east hampton yet the the uh the website is W R O E H dot org wildlife rescue. Yes. And we'll, dot org. we'll put, We're just the we'll issue. put that. We'll, we will. We'll put that in the phone number up at the oh, end. Awesome. And um, yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah, we got it. We, and um, thank you for joining us at facts at five Dell. And we'll see you at LTV. We will see you at LTV. Angela, we'll thank you. And, yeah, it's great. Thank you. And thank everybody there. I love you all. You're, you're great. You're great people. I support you all a hundred percent for everything you do. And just, the friendship and uh, that we've created over the years, but most importantly, what you do for the community. It's just un- oh. unbelievable. Hats off Honored. to you guys. And, and, my, and right. my daughter is reading your Scurry, Scurry the Squirrel book, which is so great. Which nice. I got this summer for well, we're working, yeah, up, we're working on number three. Number three. Good. Okay. Keep, Good. keep it coming. Right. Thank you, Dill. Thank you, Angela. Bye-bye.